these people that I'm, I know that I can act more than. Mm. What are they doing that I'm not doing? Then mm-hmm. you see all these influencers like they're just mm-hmm. an actor in their bio. <laughs> you give them a they beautiful can't. script and they can't deliver the story. Those days where all of us have numbers on our chest mm. and they're picking the best of the best. I mean, Andrews were in Black Panther. And we started this shit in Africa, bro. Yeah. Kenya still watch us. South Africa still watch our movies. Tell me why we should not have a prominent role in Black Panther. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of... Saturday brunch with your host with the most. And you know I'm always going to brag about having the best friend's toast. That is still a call out to all you celebrity chefs out there. We need to get a penny on the show, bro. That's a, I'm a big fan. But we're going to get to our guest today, bro. I'm going to ask you about him, too. Y'all niggas look alike a little bit. Nah, I'm playing. It's just, y'all just have a beard. <laughs> it's just niggas with beards, but I need to get a beard. I'm, I'm feeling insecure today, guys. But anyhow, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please like, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. On Spotify, too. So if you listen to me in your car, bonjour, comment ça va, comment ça va. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our guest today. He's an actor. He's a thespian. Fellow just like myself. Mm. If we win the Oscar at AMVCA, we'll go to both awards, whichever one comes first. I mean, we are not proud. Mm-mm. We are humble. Mm-mm. We are fully <laughs> humble. I'm talking about my man, my brother, Mr. David Okpora. What's good, my bro? What's good, my brother? I'm right, Love the drip, right. by the way. Thank you very much. Are you into snapbacks? Are you like a big snap guy? guy? Uh, yeah, I think I prefer snap- snapbacks to um, other type of baseball caps and the likes yeah hey what well, can't you like caps bro? i feel like that's a big deal and everyone has like a cap now yeah i i, 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 I rather hats to caps hey yeah. I, 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 yeah i love what's them, a hat to you like a proper hat like a like proper a... hat yeah like a proper gentleman's hat mm. um pork pie let me not show myself let me not start nah but bro you're big on the fashion scene yeah, yeah, i remember I what was amvc you wore that red yes oh, yo yeah do you think you should have won best dress um, I so <laughs> funny. Bruh. You know the funny thing about it is, I think being nominated to me, for me, I meant to say mm. was was very surreal because I didn't see it coming. Because and this is why. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm no. And this is not me trying to be humble or anything. This is me being very honest. So mm. I had the outfit made two years ago. Swear. Yeah, I was supposed to use it for my pageants that I unfortunately couldn't do it. Go because I'm Nigerian. You into the pageant world as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, when you yeah. started? Yeah, actually, yeah. Hey. That's, that's the, actually, actually, yes. But I did the voice. I've done the voice. I've done Nigerian Adol. Shut up. I've worked though. The I've voice? Worked. Yes, yes. So. Like the one where they turned the chair? Yeah. No. All three turned? Wow. No, 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 no. no. Have a no. Have All a, three turned? No, I wish, I wish. Who turned? Nobody. Mm. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Were you one of them contestants that never made it on the TV? No, no, no. I, I, did, I did make it on TV, TV. but yeah? yeah, I was on TV, but like I didn't get a ton. So that is crazy. Yeah. Bro. So, so for me, it's just always been. I've always tried to put myself out there. Who were the judges at the door? Um, Files. Of course, I remember them. Files were J. Do you still see them like from time to time? Yeah. Like, y'all niggas do. do you really yeah, like, help yeah, a brother yeah, out yeah, yeah, I'll do, yeah, I'll do well, that. But I'll be so awkward, man. Imagine I, no, I if think, you're watching think, go to the same you, gym. You know, before I think. <laughs> You know, if I think about it, is that every time I every time I think about it, it's just how it's crazy. When there's this popular saying that um, Rihanna has said, um, you know, fake it till you make it. Till you make it. Fake it, yeah. Until we make it. I mean, why not? Right. Yeah. And really, nobody actually knows what it is that's going through your head or how you sound. A lot of you might be going through a lot, and then at the end of the day, someone is out there thinking about how confident you are. Um, I heard them say things like, "Oh, you know, he sounded like he had all the techniques." I heard them like. Bro, the only place that I had ever sang was my shower. Dead so ass. It's not even that, church. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't even sing in church like that. So if you think that I sound that great and you think that's technique, oof. Wait, but did you think you were good? Nah, that's the funny thing. So, I didn't even think... So So for me, it's 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 always just been about... Um, more about putting myself out there. So um, by the grace of God, not to brag, it's, it's all Abba's making. Mm. You know, I'm multi-talent now. My face is getting That's how m- That nigga said, nah, it's all grace of God. <laughs> and when I- so I'm multi-talented. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just, you know, we're filming what Abba has done. Yeah. You know, so I know how to act dancing. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'm, I'm the trifecta. It actually... It's Can you do f- art? Can you draw? N- n- no. I'll oh, say so you're not Chris Brown. Yeah. 
that way. <laughs> That's how you humble them. You're not Chris Brown. Chris Brown can do it all. That's Chris Brown right. can do it. He can but, dance, but I, sing, act. So who, who's doing it in Nigeria? Yeah. Good question. His name is David Ayo. No. Watch out for me. I'm oh, telling no, no. you. What's, no, no. what's the name of uh, this guy that, we're meant to, that was meant to be on the podcast? Bella's brother. He does a lot of stuff. He does a lot what's of stuff. Name? Oh, fuck. What's his name again? I'm bad with bro. What's his name? Yeah, I, I really like where your head is. <laughs> really? No, but, I, but like, it took but you I, that I, long. I feel, I feel like the problem with multi talented, mm-hmm. because I believe I'm multi talented mm-hmm. as well, is that we find it so hard to focus on one. Yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's the biggest problem with us, but we find it so hard to like, because if we can focus on one, bro, we'll be like the best in it, bro. No, but so, you're not like, I can still do I this. Can still, no, I no. So I, I think for me, right, that and that's, that's where I'm coming, that's where I'm coming to, because. One of the, one of the things I know that I constantly like kick against is telling people like you know trying to put you in a box and so because of the society and the world that we're in we're mm. not really allowed to explore all of our talents you know you have to find one thing let people know you for yeah. one thing why it's not my fault that I carry all of these talents so why you, can't I show so you don't everything? believe in having like a niche so I I think like having a niche is just someone's way of trying to control you. Mm. Put a label to how they can describe you. I don't want to be described. You cannot describe me. I am made in his image and in his likeness. Oh, Jesus. So Christ. if you cannot Come describe my now. God, how dare you think you can describe Yo, look, me? Yo, you might be a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> He's preaching right now, bro. He's preaching right now. No, but that's dope, though, yeah. cause, because uh, uh, people always tell me, oh, Miracle, what's like your niche? Mm. Because, like, bro, my Instagram is all over the place. You have sports, you have acting, you have a podcast. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, bro. I'm just doing I'm, I'm just doing facts, but like I enjoy doing this shit, bro. So exactly. like uh, and and I feel like sometimes I'm also f- I also feel pressure to find that niche, you know. Mm. Oh, let me focus on this, let me focus on mm. this now. But like I'm definitely coming for the acting game though. Yeah, you bro, should. Oh you my should. F- you oh should. my you should. bro. You should. You should. You should. Next I'm, year if I don't get an AMVC with what I'm planning on going, I'll be very disappointed in myself. I I mean so the, so the thing about it is it, one of the things for me is uh, you're just you should just always remember that you're doing it for you regardless of someone else's business you, you don't want that word bro we all uh, do I mean, I, i'm yeah. doing it for myself i love acting yeah acting you, brought me look, up look, look, i want that shit bro yeah, yeah you're gonna get it i want that shit I, bro. I, I, I pray because because i i genuinely believe i i bring an athlete's mentality i always say this i bring mm-hmm. an athlete's mentality into everything mm-hmm. and i want to i feel like i'm the best and i want to be seen as the best that's good and that's I wish you the very best. Man. You do, but you but you have that energy too. Mm-hmm. I saw your Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very big on you know manifestations, and I think like I'm gonna stay here for free. You know, I'm priding myself in saying that I'm going to be the first Nigerian to win an Oscar. I mean, if yeah, I was about to say if we're not yeah, in the same category. Like, yeah. Maybe yeah. your category will come first before mine. Exactly. Or yeah. maybe mine will come first before yours. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nah, but good luck. Good you luck, too. good luck. You're right but but like, I, I I love mm-hmm. those type of those type of aspirations. Yeah, though. most definitely. I love that type of energy because I generally believe if you believe in something that is so big, mm-hmm. people think you're crazy. But yeah. if you actually work towards it, there's some way somehow the universe is just gonna make it's it. It's most definitely, bro. most definitely. Like, and that's why they say faith without work is meaningless. That works, right? And if you if you don't put in the work, and I feel like that's why a lot of people have issues with Christians is. You know, people think that we. I'm so sorry. This is not a Bible. No, go crazy. No, bro. What? <laughs> go yeah, crazy. I'm gonna talk about. By Jesus. the way, we're eating healthy today, guys. Salad. Yeah. Come on now. Most death. Most death. Shout out to the house. You know the vibes. Yeah. So, I. So what I was. What I was trying to say was one of the things I pride myself in is trying to make sure that people understand that your mind is so. There are no limits to your mind, and there are no limits to what and who you can become. Mm. The problem is a lot of peop- individuals have sort of been able to think that they have the audacity to tell you who and what it is that you can become. And that is why mm. I said that one of the things that I'm going to be remembered for is that every damn thing that I said that I was going to do, I'm going to do it. What do you think I have a best book. At? What do I think? What's I'm your a- number one thing? You personally, I feel like you know your number one thing. Fuck what everyone says. Mm. What's your number one thing? It's too much. Talent, talent. If you could only do one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? 
is this the problem of being good at all? Uh, ah, but see, I'll try to narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, narrow. if you could um, pick one, um, I I believe that I'm a pretty solid actor. Um, I I sometimes shock myself. I'm I'm one of the actors that I like to tell people that I'm very open to criticism. I'm I like when people give me feedback. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I do when I watch my shows because a lot of people say they don't, but I do is so that I can learn what from not your to mistakes do. yeah right exactly so if i'm for instance now and one of the things about nollywood is that we have a type of storytelling most times one of story one of the the what's it called the movies that uh, scripts that we keep seeing are very intertwined entwined yes with love and a lot of that and whether or not nigerians accept it nigerians we like love is what it is right well, a lot of nigerians but, are not romantic yeah no, we like love, but we're not romantic. Like that's that's a difference. That's yeah. a, that's just for another day. Mm-hmm. But like, so one of the things I know that I I've tried to tell myself is that every time I watch uh, myself is, if at all I'm going to land me another you know love, love role or something, I want mm. to play a different version. So I just want to be able to leave out every character that my imagination can think about. Every character, because I feel like your mind is so powerful, you can create anybody. And to be very honest, if you look at it, there are people out there who actually are like this, you know, movies, whether we want to agree to it or not. So you just pick traits from here, there, okay, yeah, I think I like how I sounded here, here. Oh, okay, interesting. And then, yeah, it just work. When did you fall in love with actor? Um, my year one. Yeah, 100. Level. University? Yeah. We, what, what did you study? Um, theater arts. Swear, same. Mm. So I put my, I put, see, bro, wait, that wait, is wait, crazy. Bro. I put my 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 life down and said I'm going to make it in this industry. Facts. So like I've, I study um, I study theater arts and, and finance. Uh, bro. No, we're taking over. That's why that's why we have this confidence. Crazy, yeah. There's, 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 there's a bro, level, like there's a certain level honestly, of confidence bro. you have when you know you. I'm I'm not just one of them that just. Decide I look oh, good. Yeah, and yeah, just put acting right? my bio. Nah, <laughs> nah. Mm, mm, like mm. I have courses in this. Mm. voice training everything like i know what people do to be the best that's and that's, i genuinely feel like no offense to the 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 the, the, the people up there right now uh-huh. i feel like they're just leave they're living off maybe one glory of one film mm. and i feel like sorry to say this but i feel like some directors are always lazy to find new talent they just pick the same people that they've worked with before. Like, for example, mm. Toby Bakri has worked with the same producer that produced um, that Gangs of Lagos, his mm-hmm. past following movies after mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Tim Nini ends up being in the same producer, big movies, mm-hmm. he works with the same producer, he works with the same cast, same everything. Mm-hmm. Funke picks the same people every mm-hmm. time. If there's a Yoruba movie, I can tell you two actors that are always <laughs> going to be in it. And I feel like it's 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 a bit damning mm. because then I'm it, you're trying to tell a different story, but you just remind me of the same story I saw that other person. Mm. I hear you, but but you know one of the things that I I really like to um, say to people is if one of the things that I've oh and this is just me being as honest as possible because it's one of the things I tell myself right. Um, I think that a lot of actors are too comfortable with wanting to be seen that they don't put in the work to being seen and hear me out i might be dragged or mm. some people might be offended but this is what i i believe in the one of re, one of the things i know that you hear a lot of actors complain about is that oh they're using a lot of influencers they're using a lot of this yeah. and if we're being honest right in as much as you believe that someone should trust you enough to with with a character that they can put out there and work it's 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 actually someone's means of livelihood mm-hmm. they're people that have to be paid for mm-hmm. this so mm-hmm. if you're not going to put in the work to be a brand that's a producer can sell. I'm so sorry. You might be the most fantastic actor in the world, but if you're not marketable, it's it's it's. I don't I don't see how it works. And this is the harsh truth, right? This is something that I told myself, and it's one of the reasons why I also stepped into like being a lifestyle influencer. And I've I've because I like to say that I know that I can. I am very. I feel like that kills the art, though. Yeah, it does. But I, 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 but I, I, but I'm if sorry being, to disagree with you, but it does because then mm-hmm. you see all these influencers, like I said, they're just put mm-hmm. actor in their bio. <laughs> You give them a beautiful story, and they beautiful can't. script, and they can't deliver the story properly. So it just looks like, yeah. But at the end of the it's day, it's half ass. At the end of the day, what are the actors who are so talented doing? Nothing. I feel like there are a lot of talented actors and actresses that are being okay. Overlooked. So what? 
No, no, that's what I'm trying to say. So what are you doing to know? Okay, so I'm this is the th- this is the thing about this is the thing about him. I want them to bring back auditions. Bring back those days where all of us have numbers on our chest. We're auditioning in an auditorium hmm. and they're picking the best of the best. I want to compete against these guys that you keep giving these ropes to. I hear you. Don't like bro, like fuck Instagram, mm-hmm. fuck Snapchat, fuck fuck X, fuck TikTok, mm-hmm. fuck all that, bro. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, the best, the best, the best actors in America today. The best actors in America today. Mm-hmm. I know active on social media, bro. True they're that. too busy in classes. They're too busy in acting classes. Like mm-hmm. Tightening up their craft. And 100%, I agree with you. Trust me, there's nothing as beautiful as seeing... I think one of the things that inspired me to keep going and keep pushing in this industry was... Shout out to my friend. Her name is Ajiro. She got nominated for um, Best Supporting Actress um, last this AMVC. Oh. Um, yeah. And I think that was just the light touch that I needed. You know, because to be very honest, it is... There's so many talented people out there. All of us are praying to the same God. How many of you would start answer all of us? But at the end of the day, you can't. It might not. Ev- you're not going to always get your way, right? Mm. Do you hear me? So, um, I think one of where I was going with the Ejiro Edu- story is the fact that it just helped me realize that oh yeah, you know, I can be seen, right? There's there's a, there's the possibility that eventually one day, if I keep pushing my work out there, if I keep doing my best, I will be seen. One problem that we as human beings have is that we identify the problem and we never work towards finding a solution mm. now a lot of actors who are not as say wise as you who mm. would try other channels who would you know put themselves out there until like you know they can get their foot um, into the door just want things handed down to you and i'm so sorry it's it's never going to happen, happen right in as much as we want the days when we could compete for roles it's life has moved on we need to catch up you need to move to the next thing you need to figure out how okay these people that i'm I know that I can act more than mm-hmm. what are they doing that I'm not doing? People are keeping up lifestyle because it, at the end of the day, social media is just controlled narrative. It's what I put out there that you know about me. You <laughs> clearly don't know me. It's what I want to yeah. show you. Yeah. So if these people want a, I just people want to a, a sellable, a sellable brand. You need to be sellable. You need to strategize. Okay, what is in vogue? What is? And I'm so sorry. Yes, it kills the drive, but it is part of the work. But if we keep Picking off that, mm-hmm. the, the international community is not going to respect us. But how many? Okay, for example, Black Panther. Mm-hmm. How many Nigerians? Were how there? many Nigerians were in Black Panther? And we started this shit in Africa, bro. Yeah. Kenya still watch us. South Africa still watch our movies. Uganda mm-hmm. still watch our movies. But they probably had more actors in Black Panther than we did. Mm-hmm. We why? Tell me why we should not have a prominent role in Black Panther? Come on. Hmm. Come on. They were faking Nigerian accents when we have Nigerian accents. Like, are you kidding me? And I feel like if we keep putting mediocre people <laughs> on the top stages, it's, it's going to reflect poorly on us. Hmm. 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 I just feel like I know we're not going to go back to the olden days of auditions, but like, I just. I feel you. Yeah, there'd be a fair balance of giving up roles, hmm. especially the. The top roles. Uh, that's that's all I'm saying. I don't know because I mean I'm advocating I feel like for it's so political. Yeah, you but just have to know. I really do hope and pray that we all get to experience what it means and what it truly feels like to have that one big role that sets everything. Bro. Because at the end of the day, right? One of the things that I know that we can end up doing is sit here and talk about all the things that we wish the movie, the Nollywood industry, the film industry would do. But to be honest, it is what it is. We just. You have think to you got that role? Hmm? If I've gotten the room, if I had the room, I probably would have a G wagon packed outside now. Bro. Yeah, I will not be entering. Uber. Mm. Yeah. When do you think you're gonna get it though? When do um, you think you'll get you're gonna get your break? Oh, soon, 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 soon. I'm manifesting it. Um, it's coming. It's coming. I see it. As far as I can think about it, as far as it's in my imagination, Abba is gonna give me. I'm going to work towards it. I'm just going to be patient. It's just patience and trust now. Bro. <laughs> That role, but I feel you on that role because that role, that one role that just sets everything, mm. sets the tone, mm. then everything is just fast paced from there. And so, you know, the beautiful thing about it is, I feel like eventually, when, and I'm not trying to advocate for actors with nasty characters or anything, um, bad characters and all of that. I'm just trying to say, like, sometimes I actually do understand, I think that I get why you feel that way. 
Hmm. Where when people, you know, people now think that, oh, you wouldn't just want people to tramp. You've put in so much, there's so much work. There's so much days that you would, and this is me being honest, right? There's days that you have to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, oh my, I don't see this thing going anywhere, but God, I'm going to trust you because I cannot have worked this much, given my life to this, for this not to be, like, for me not to step into this reality. Like, it, there's no way. And honestly speaking, the day you get up to that realization of who you are and who you belong to, trust me, whether or not they take the rules from you, that's not it. What God has promised you is that you would have an expected end. And an expected end, me, I will get. Amen to that. So yeah, but but I also feel like, I want to ask you this question. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like in today's world, people chase more of the actor's lifestyle? Because you keep referring lifestyle on Instagram mm-hmm. than the actual craft mm-hmm. of being an actor. Because uh, so People just want to be... They want, want to be, be famous. famous. Was, they yeah. want to be famous. Yeah, so they want some level of fame and they feel mm-hmm. like acting is the best avenue to get famous. Yeah. But you actually don't have love for acting. So you be on set and when there's a <laughs> certain level, like you don't even have the endurance. You don't even have the endurance to go through a movie set. I hear you 100%. Um, like when people, I remember so sorry, when mm-hmm. I was on a YouTube set and they were like, oh, we're going to go until... 3 a.m. I'm like, bro, I'm ready for this shit, but what do you mean? I expect us to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I expect us to. We're trying to put up some mm-hmm. good magic, especially, you know, being YouTube is a very short yeah. um, um, certain amount of time you shoot. So if we're trying to get the best work, we need to make sure it's perfect. So if we need to do a scene six times to get yeah, the perfect yeah, shot, we got to do six scene six times. So you know, the th- you know the thing about it is, I feel like, you know how, like I said, social media is controlled narrative. I'm so sorry, but there are so many people who are who don't have as, who don't even have the IQ that you and I have to be able to to, to understand that oh, you know this is acting and this is this person's real life. So a lot of people just want to be big and famous, and eventually, when they work hard, pray hard, sometimes luck, whatever the case may mm. be, you know they find this fame, they always get confused, mm. right? And they can barely ever handle it because it is not what it is that you thought it was. Yeah right it's a whole different like there's so much and one of the things that i know i've always told myself is that look i'm not ashamed to say till tomorrow there's nobody who is feeding me and whatnot right Abby? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me let me let me, let me check let me, let me just go it's through that contact yeah, 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 yeah it's just just go it's just, yeah. just, 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 just go yes <laughs> but yeah so like there's nobody so i'm just i'm just trying to say that you know a lot of people just need to understand that. See, I feel like everybody has moved past the era where you just have to constantly focus on the problem and which is this lifestyle of a thing. People don't understand that. Trust me, a lot of people will meet you and think that you're the same person they saw on TV. Right. Right? And I can't really blame them. There's really nothing you can do. There's really nothing you can say. Um, just do you, man. And I, I feel like if you don't find purpose, you will never find an income. If you can't find purpose in what you want, you would never make money off it, right? If it's not for you, you're just going to force it. Even the fame thing, you're going to want it. Eventually, when it lands in your lap, you have zero idea of what, what to, do. to do with it. Bro. Do you understand? So, like, you just also need to f- internalize. There was a there was a, there was a meme I saw on, on Twitter, and then someone said something about, you do realize that most of you are just meant to be regular people. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being regular. Oh, no, no. Being regular now do you know? is an eyesore. Like everybody, no, no, no. we. I'm so sorry. You're lame if you're regular now. Yeah. So like everybody wants to be like you would see, and there's nothing wrong with you know being social media savvy and whatnot. But you just see people like who are supposed to be in offices. There's really nothing wrong, guys. We can't all be superstars. You can be a superstar, but you were meant to be a superstar in the office. Go back. You will see that you will shine there. You know, like I feel like that's why we have so much medio- mediocre, right? Because. Everybody trying to be like everybody else. And it's you you're your own person. You cannot mm-hmm. die. A, see, I rebuke it for you and your village people. Amen, you cannot bro. die a copy of Amen. another person. Like there's Amen. no way you would come on come Amen. to this earth. It's just one life we have. And you want to be someone else. You cannot bro. Yo, like you say you've lived your entire life. People really trying to be like other people, bro. And then I wonder, and then you know people say stuff like I've had people tell me that I'm very dramatic. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Tell me something new. <laughs> facts like i mean facts i, I'm aware. I, I have, study I have theater been, for fucking four years i'm sorry what do you expect? four years four years what do you expect? Of rehearsals my cosmate is here we put in the 
The damn she studied theater too. Oh yo. Shut the fuck up. Oh yo. Oh yeah, that's what she did. You study theater? <laughs> you can act? Yeah. Get out of here. here. That is so wild. So that's what I'm telling you. So I, hey, oh, we, yeah, you have to be here when I'm shooting my monologues. She knows exactly what I'm talking. What I'm talking about in terms of like you know like, hey, yeah, we walk through. Yeah, like there's nothing that's that's why sometimes I I, I have to find a way to catch myself to just realize and I'm like, you do realize that you're young. You know mm-hmm. you can once in a while step back and appreciate how much mm-hmm. work that you because you put in so much effort into trying to end one poverty scheme that you're not in but like you know the world outside there is telling you that oh you know you have to get here you have to do this you have to do that you have to do that and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people want fame and that's yeah. where i'm trying to go because everybody just feels like they should be able to afford a certain lifestyle i'm so sorry cut your coat according to your size you only live one. if you die you die i always tell people if you want if you want this fast money but just go to silver fox become a stripper even that now yeah stripping is, is hard that too you look the part stripping is hard too bro it's, it's, it's work Russian like hard you see you you i mean they're they getting to, bruises on their thighs and the, their shoes bro is this stripping that, is hard bro if let's is that for you yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nah shout out to the strippers bro yeah so so it there's really actually not so a lot of people are looking for the easy way out and that's one of the reasons why looking we have so money. many people come into like the entertainment industry because everybody thinks like it's just going to be easy for you to so just easy get, so and easy. Then some of some influencing, get brands, brand. they'll give you money. That's why once they just get in and then you know they they see what they see, well, they run. On dating life within the industry, can you ever date somebody within the mm. industry? Mm. <laughs> I was about, I was about to say because hey. we were having, we were having hey. some good ass conversations <laughs> in the back. <laughs> um, that is not what my brother said. <laughs> By the way, stud, hmm. stud. Hmm. You be lucky, stud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, but anyhow, would you? Um, I know I would. I don't think so. What's the name of that girl I showed you? Um, the girl that I showed you. Really? They said scares you. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's okay. I already said it. Say her name. <laughs> bruh, that is where like she scares me. And I was like, bro, she scares me too. But I still want to hit, bro. I feel like she would <laughs> choke me. So sexy. I feel like she'd choke me and be speaking broken to me, bro. I feel like she's so... Bro, what? That shit is... What's her name again? I don't know. Uh, p- ah, no, I'm not in no me. They know me. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. You'll not remember now. I will. No. Uh, they know me. It's they know... My fans know me as well. Do you think she has nipple piercings? Do you think? This is really got hard. <laughs> <laughs> no my fans know they hey. know they're okay with this type of conversations hey. oh they're okay with this type of com- bro she's just baddie bro okay i feel like i'll describe her and i no. and i wasn't with that actress that always wears versace outfits to do her her content she just wears a versace robe big back big bunda come on guys they don't know now let's move on no <laughs> no <laughs> Yes! What's her name? That's what the fuck? Hold on! What the? That's her name? You know her better than me. Yes. Say y'all. Do you say y'all did a scene together? <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! I need you to save this clip. This is the trailer right here. <laughs> what? No, no, no. What's her name? No, no, no. Is that her actually? I think that's her name. Lillian what? Bro, she's so bad, bro. I think she's one of the people in the industry I just want to kiss. Just to kiss. Yeah. I want to kiss her on camera. Maybe in a movie or something. Bro, what's bad with wanting to kiss people? Talking making what? <laughs> bro. I put my lips on her lips. For sure. Big time. Tiwa Savage? Well, she's lazy, though. I feel like Tiwa Savage don't put effort into like romance. Even though she makes romantic music. I feel like it's them ones that don't be don't be putting romance into my 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 guess is sinking in, right? You don't want to be part of this though. So. <laughs> Lily Affair. Yeah. Bro, shout out to her, bro. Hit me up. Absolutely your DMs already. I'ma keep sliding. <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna write you a poem. <laughs> I feel like I feel like she'll like a poem. 
I feel like I feel like she's gotten everything. Guys have flown her out, got her Birkins, got her wristwatches, jewelry, money. But nobody has taken time to write her a lovely. That's so what you want to do. I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna be different. I'm gonna stand out, and I feel like that is. You, I don't, you just, did you, did you just fucking laugh? I don't, did you just fucking laugh? <laughs> that is so real. Oh my god! So this is that laugh. is what, crazy. You see, romance is dead. What no, do no, you no, mean? So How much more money do you want? Uh, money is never. There's no limit. To no. Money. Come on. Now. See, guys, this so, is so, why the so Bible you, says so it, rich when? people can enter. Yes. When was the last How time? Words? <sighs> Come on. At least three standards. At least three. Telling her what? Telling her how how beautiful she is. In this economy. How how sexy her voice is. In this economy. How she inspires me. In this but economy. scares me at the same time. <laughs> it's, it's inspiring. <laughs> I mean, I say I just love your Versace robes. Yo. I like Versace too. I, I, we go together. You really have planned this thing, huh? Bro, I'm dead ass going to write her, write her a poem. I'm going to send it to you too. I'll, to co- I'll, I'll copy all of us. Maybe make like a... Uh, uh, Instagram, you can do like group... Yeah, we'll yeah. make it like a group message. Okay. What did she reply? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dead ass though. What did she do? <laughs> oh my God. Now, nah, but name one person in the industry though that you could. If you had to. If I had to date someone. Tonda just like. <gasps> hmm? 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 What'd you say? What'd you say? What? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what is he on? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, it, I think one, one person that I think that if I. Oh, that would be really nice. Assass. Nah, Jemima was one day. Show me a picture, bro. Show me a yeah, picture. That's, I'm that's, bad with names. I'm so sorry. I'm but so bad with names. That is bro. my. Is, I mean, is, that, is that a good one? That's uh, what well, everyone. Uh, Whoa! Just, everyone is like, ah, uh, uh, yes. That is my uh, ideal. Uh, Destiny, no. you're the only one I can trust. Oh, Destiny said no. two thumbs up. Oh no! Oh, yeah, let me see a picture of this girl, let me show you. man. Let me show nah, you. This is something, and the the thing about it is, so I I got to see her. Yeah. Hey. I can't see her from there, but I can't see her face. From I'm there. already weak. My phone fell. Um, what Jemima? The forehead is forehead, you know, from here, though. Yeah, no, so it's not just about it's not just it's just her very I, a woman with a sexy forehead. She has me she has a very soft. I feel like weird appeal shit turns to her. me on, bro. Yeah, she has a very elegant, very feminine. Who said that? Ah, very feminine, feminine aura. Yeah, like mm. he, I didn't do. <laughs> Leave my, my Akanchawa body alone, bro. I like, I like, I like my, I like my hood bitches, bro. <laughs> I like my hood girls, so, yeah, bro. So yeah, so Jemima Osunde is someone. Oh I my, oh yeah, she looked like she went to British International School. <sighs> yeah, bro. Like this is how person you take to, like you know, like when you go to vi- visit your people. Nah, then, but I, I wouldn't date her, bro. Don't. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I'll mess up her life. I feel like she's very like emotional, what very you like. But you mess up her life. Like I feel like I'll mess up. Like it's not her, it's me. Genuinely, it's not. It's not you, it's me. Genuinely, like I feel like I, I would like kill her trust for men. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to put it, but I feel like I'm not Killing good enough. Killing her trust for men is yeah, wild. I feel like I'm not good enough. But for my, for my, for my, I can show her body. Oh yeah, she need a nigga like me. <laughs> what? Bro, let me rock your world, baby girl. <laughs> Let's make content together. I, I'm even. screaming. No, nah, but bro, I, I, I realize that. Uh, Nigeria may not have the the most talented people, but they have the most attractive. Mm. Mm. Goddamn. I don't know whether th- everything is real, whether it's BBLs, but god damn it, they look good. <laughs> Shout out to all you women out there. <laughs> Y'all looking fantastic in them movies. <laughs> Trust me. You keep you you keep us entertained. You keep us entertained. But bro, somebody let me let me even take it back, bro. Somebody I had a crush on. Messi. Which Messi? Bro, the only Messi, bro. Johnson. Johnson. The only Messi, bro. Mm. Bro. I found her so attractive. Interesting. Maybe because I'm a titty guy, but bro. I found her so attractive, bro. Honestly. Somebody, oh, yeah, but I, mean, I think it's a compliment. I mean, it's a compliment. She, he's lucky. What? How many kids does she have now? Like four or five kids? Mm. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I have the sixth one. <laughs> hey. He might just have the sixth one. I'm telling you, bro, bro, when you have an attractive wife, you lose count of the kids, bro. Mm. Yeah, that's why me. Mm-mm. 
having a vasectomy. Oh yeah, big time. I've already, I've already thought it through after three kids because I, I know myself. I'm not gonna pull out. All I pull out when I'm married, bro, and I'm definitely not wearing a condom no more. They're not gonna exist at all. Condoms are not gonna exist. Throwing them out of my life. Okay. I've invested too much. I've given the condom. Invested is crazy. Bro, what? I've given them too much money in my life since I lost my virginity as a freshman in college till now. The condom company has taken a lot for me. Oh yeah. Once I when I put that ring on, <laughs> bro, if I see a condom, I might punch it. I might just punch it, bro. I mean, by the time you're married, that's that's when you're married now. So Bro, yeah. and funny enough, my my first ever condom encounter was in my dad's wardrobe. I don't know why he had it, bro. Fun fact. He... I don't know, bro. Why would you have a condom, man? Hmm. Nah. <sighs> would you? Do you see the condom if you're married? Mm. Nah. 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 Come on. Nah. 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 I know. Mm-hmm. How about you? <laughs> I know it's about to get married, bro. Guy. Oh yeah. By the way, guys, if you guys don't know, I know it's about to get married. Oh, we're uh, we're expecting a wedding in the house chronicles. Yeah, shout out to Anna, please. Round of applause, please. A round of applause. Round of applause. Don't be shy, Anna. It's fine. It's okay. That's why she actually we did her hair, everything. Uh uh-uh. uh her Energy. hand is around, so you know she's trying to look nice, look that's good. That's nice. You see, that's 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 an intentional woman. That's good. Let's see that feminine aura. Mm-hmm. Eno? Oh, f- heavy feminine aura. Yeah, over feminine up. actually. That's that's over up. feminine. It's good. It's good. Eno is good. Oh my goodness. Eno is amazing. But, but back, back to you, mm. the industry. Mm. What's the craziest thing you've seen? Okay, I know you be seeing some crazy shit. I know be you be hearing some crazy oh, ass stories. No, no, no. I think I think that the only see one of the things I like to see is that I, I when it comes to industry, just I'm not I'm not the guy. Right, because I'm very all about my business and I'm going away. Mm. So I don't know what be happening. I don't want to know what's Love happening. Hot takes. I don't want all of that because <laughs> I don't want my name in nobody's mouth. So I keep my mouth out. You don't want a diddy. Yeah. Bro, you end up in one party. You stay for too long. Before yeah. you know it, the FBI is in front of your house. Uh, ha. Yeah, I even go FBI. <laughs> you see, Bro. You see, you see FBI. It's, it's or EFCC. Somebody be, be bought to. Bro. Nah, nah, I'm not, nah. But, but 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 we had a model in the last podcast, mm-hmm. actually, and she was saying, like, that's, that shit really be happening, bro. Both in the, like, modeling and also in, like, the entertainment she industry. Know? She said that some of her friends have told her. Mm. Dead ass. Hmm. That's it, it, it. Nah, you were in the world. You were in the pageantry world. You never heard stories? See, so. No, I'm, I'm just not, asking, I mean, hearing, Okay, hearing stories. Yeah. Okay. Everybody has stories to every industry. I mean, it's still the same way you go to the corporate industry, and there are always stories. No, there's stories. So if he doesn't, one of the things I know that um, I try to not indulge in is mm. the fact that I just try to keep myself. I'm already enough drama for myself. Yeah. So it gets the extra. Nah, 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 I beg. And I know how exhausted it can be when people bring their. I know how exhausted. Yeah. I'm. I'm the drama. I have a whole ass t-shirt that reminds me every I'm day. Weak, so, bro. so I'm, <laughs> like I have a whole, a whole ass t-shirt. Not a t-shirt. whole ass t-shirt. Like, so I don't need nobody's drama bringing. So every time I look at the t-shirt, I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, not for me, you know, that's enough drama. So yeah. For you, bro. So no. good luck to kudos to all of those involved. <laughs> um, so 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 you don't. So most of your friends are they in the industry or outside of it? I think it's 50-50. I, I have more friends now in the industry. Industry. Yeah. Actually, I, I've, are the people you hang out with like yeah now yeah heavy yeah, heavy yeah I have friends now who are in the industry so Fair. yeah actually. what's the difference for my for my f- work friends or mm-hmm. my, and my house what's the difference like who, who do you feel more comfortable around with because I, I want like I I, I, feel, I feel more comfortable around like. My day industry. one, yeah, no, your day one, industry day one. No, bro. everybody feels. So I feel like people in industry, they're always trying to keep a certain level of steez. So, so that's the thing about it. Like the people I have met by the grace of God in this industry are the coolest, realest people. So I have like a few of them that I can confidently say, okay, these guys are my family. They are now my day ones, okay, right? Okay. Um, so just so that's that's why when I was just trying to think about it, I'm like, oh yeah, like most of my work friends have become my family. 
Mm. So like, you know, I, I can comfortably call them. They can call me. We can mm. have conversations outside of work. Mm. You know, now with personal life and whatnot, you know, seeking each other's um, advice and whatnot. So yeah, um, I don't, I think that my work colleagues are very cool, pretty chilled. I don't even know if I have friends anymore, Sha. You? Yeah. What happened? Uh, they say I have bad character. That is wild. <laughs> All of them are just one. Um, or two. Just one, just one. Just one. Just and one. spread the bad seed all over. Yeah. It just takes one bad egg, eh? I mean, like, uh, kudos to you. Keep doing you. That is wild, bro. You don't want to talk you talk your shit? Spit, spit a, be- a few bars to that person? No, 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 no. That means- Yo, watch out, bro. Stop talking crazy about my boy, bro. <laughs> we coming for you. Dead ass. We're going to pull up on your door. Bing bong. Yeah. Bing what bong. I said? If you're saying any legal any legal claim, send it to him. <laughs> I'll back him, but legal? just send, wow. send it to him first. Wow. Then we'll meet you in court. Nice. But send we? it to his. Yeah, I got you. No, I got you. Oh, so you, you're, you're just going about- to. Listen, so, I'm, I'm here to support. I got mm. you. If they send any legal legalities, just email me. Don't text. Don't text. Email. Why should I text you? Text. I'm, I'm, I'm going through lines, different SIM cards. Just send me an email. I'll respond to you. So you put me in spam. Never. I would never do that. You are to such you. a liar. I never do that to you. <laughs> send all the legalities to him. Who send it to me? Who will meet you in court? Let's go. Yo. Let's get that work, baby. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Go. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> but any work coming up? Um, any yes. big any big works? Yes. So you, know, you have some um, big stuff with saga going on. I do, Amazon I Prime. Do, I do. Come I on do. now, big time. Come on now, big tie. How did you get that, by the way? That was hey, crazy, bro. It, ha. I'm dead ass. How did you get that, bro? Yo, I th- first off, I think that one of the things people need to understand, this is what I was coming to with, um, you know, actors and putting themselves out there. Mm. Shout out to Mr. Tola Um, That man took a very, I don't even know what the word is. He took a chance on me, right? And this is how it happened. You will not believe that one random day, Sometime in January, I was just sitting down and I was just asking myself, what and how am I going to get on this show? Fact, let me backtrack, right? I have this friend, her name is Eva. She's alive. I can still confirm this thing that I'm about to say. Um, and where I was in her house and then we're just talking about how, oh my, what is going on in this industry? I've done this. I thought this would come out. This one that I've done, I'm, not, I'm yet to see it and all of that. And then I don't know when I just blotted out God, all I just need for you to do is to put me on a show like the men's club. I am not making So what's this the concept of the show, actually? So you know how... You, so you remember how we were before we came here? Mm-hmm. So imagine four of us with different POVs, right? So like you come... So how we're sitting down is uh, very... We all just so it's it's just a show that just tries to boost male friendship, right? It's it's showing the good, the uh, bad, and how men just have their own some of mental um, oh. distress with themselves, and how men just you know how we're able to all come and talk about our yeah. uh, our problems over yeah. a bottle of what you know like liquor and Do you know the that. funny thing what I know the idea that he just thought of now men sitting down and just discussing when we were discussing that show the other time. I literally have a concept like that, but it's in a barber shop. Oh, that's ooh. Oh, that's so. That, ooh. The men are cutting their hair and literally barber shop talk. Ooh, that's literally barber shop talk. Ooh, that's really nice. I would definitely watch that. And I'm not even trying to see this speech when I see you. I would actually bro. watch that. Bro, I don't and know. No, legality. Make sure we lock that in. That that would definitely. For Amazon Prime steals my shit. <laughs> we have the employee here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, no. So yeah, you had you explain how you got the show. Yeah, so I just randomly sent him a DM after I said this to my friend. Let me show you how God works, right? This is mm. the first time I'm sharing this testimony because it's really a testimony. Oh, right? breaking news, right? Um, and then I just went composed a mail like a message, and then I sent it to him. I had noticed that before now he had um liked one of my pictures, mm. and for some weird ass reason, I just was like. Ah, God, this man cannot have just stumbled on my page. I'll just go now. No, 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 no. So I sent him a message. And then luckily for me, he responded in, I think, like two hours. I was shocked. I didn't think he was going to respond. Let me tell you the truth. And then he responded in two hours. And then he goes, "Um, hello, we speak. And then he's like, oh, there's a show that I want you to try out for. Um, It's a series. I had no idea it was Men's Club, mind you. Um, 
I just he just said, oh, it was a new season. So in my head, I thought it was maybe a fresh show that mm. he was trying to start mm. out. And yo, next thing he tells me, oh, you're supposed to come on this day and whatnot. And before I tell you this, um, I think like one of the things I know that I am is that I am persistent. You see, when the Bible said the violent take care to by force, oh yeah, big time. I did not give that man break points. I did not let him rest. Like I know you that kept following up, bro. As I you should. I don't text anybody as much as I text that man. I'm pretty sure he knew <clears throat> that this one means this. This is not a thing of this one is hoping it happens. This, I wasn't leaving it to chance or oh somehow expected mm -mm. this yeah. one i said there's no way i'm going to lock this in and then we get i get um and then they put out a an audition notice and then you're supposed to send something email i still sent an audition i still sent my picture i still send an email like shots everything everything like i was just like i want him to that even if he sees it he knows that i mean that yeah. I to do this thing and then luckily for me i go in for auditions the second day and then um, when I left, I sent a follow-up message and I told him, oh, thank you for, you know, the giving me the opportunity. Of course. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're a really good actor. And I was like, God, I beg you. Bruh, <laughs> it's the wildest thing happened. Two days later, uh, we're told we're going to get back information by Monday. Um, Monday comes and then I get a strange phone call. And I will tell you, as at that time, I was pissed <laughs> because I could not find my shorts. So my phone was ringing and I almost did not pick up the call. This is, they don't even know this. I did not almost pick up the call. I would have probably missed it. And I kept on asking myself, they had to, they called me twice. The devil is a liar. The devil is a freaking, ah! That's fucking And crazy. then I was, all my mind was all about these shots. Even when I picked up the call, I wasn't paying attention. So in my head, I was like, can this person get to yeah. the point why they're calling me and whatnot? And then, you know, they now, the, the next thing I hear is that, oh, congrats, you've been selected to... I still wasn't paying attention. My, my head came. Okay, I didn't even the, assimilate that. Like my own was, my own was. Where's my shorts? Yeah, I just because I needed to leave where I was at the, um, at the time. <laughs> where was he? <laughs> Story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> so I needed to leave where I was, and then um, next thing I know, you know, they now tell me that oh, I didn't get the character. They now tell me the name of the character that I got, and I didn't audition for that character, and I would. See, it's so crazy how God works, right? And you will not believe that, to an extent, my entitled ass didn't feel like he, like, I didn't like the role because I was like, mm, it's not going to let me show. It's not going to. Bro, I got on set. My characters, hi, ah, yeah. Sure. You. Talk to me. Mm. My character, he did dress, he did wear clothes clothes i'm so sorry but fashion excites yeah me. the the wardrobe came prepared the scripts came prepared by the way i was number one on the call sheet so i had more story time so i'm so going talent to one oof oof because that's a star star mm. that's a star star to cast you oof. with yeah like everybody and, I, and one of the things i can tell you for a fact is that from day one from when we were reading everybody who has a role as a part of the new generation of the men's club i'm not telling you this to make you sound like well, i'm trying to hype some hype, hype the movie or anything but i tell you that we put and brought our best game like every actor every crew member at production it was phenomenal like it was so sad like in the last day I, i'm not even trying to patronize him but i almost wanted to cry i actually missed it Actually, do miss filming, but now I'm excited because on the fourth of December, come on now, I'm about to be on Prime, bro. That's big deal, bro. That's that's big. What if this is your breakthrough? Home. Prime hey! is a Prime is a big deal, brother. Hey, that's international. You know, like now that you just say this now, like it's that's just, international. Yeah, we're having a worldwide release, so it's not just Prime Video Niger. Are they gonna fire you up? I hope. Uh, that will be nice, eh? Uh, Maybe depending on how good the one yeah, in Nigeria yeah, does. Yeah. Now that would be dope, brother. Hey. This is huge, man. So I, 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 uh, Are you ready? So I don't think I was. He's going to start be acting different. I Next know. time he comes on the podcast, he's going to see with Van Cleef bracelets all over here. He I sees you acting outside. He going he gonna switch up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna switch up. I probably have an oh accent. Oh my god! No, I, I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the next time I, I probably will show up because I think another thing I now invested in doing is I was way bigger. Mm. So um, when people are watching the season one, they're definitely going to see a different David 
right now. So don't worry, I'm cooking for season two. So that me too, I would follow my fellow colleagues. <laughs> and they're showing a little bit of, you know. I am weak. <laughs> so I just randomly just sit like this, and you know my biceps are just. Look at this guy. I've bro. already planned. It. Look at this right, guy, right? Like, right? Have... Say you got a trainer already. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I love it, brother. I love it. Yeah. Now nah, I'm I'm really excited, especially for for your for your prime special coming out. Mm. Could be we call it a prime special. That's a prime special, bro. And it comes out in December. That's such a great month for you. Such a great month. Everybody Jesus Christ's knows. birthday and mine. Oh, come on now. So good. so you're you're definitely gonna be blessed with that side on. So mm-hmm. you feel me? Mm-hmm. I mean, December babies, we be like giving back. My mom, my mom's also December. <laughs> the woman that gave birth to you is December. You know you're gonna succeed. Yeah. Come on now. Uh-oh. Come on now. Uh-oh. Come on now, my brother. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. I know this is a big, big, big deal for you, mm. and I pray that is the breakthrough that you've been seeking. Amen. Amen. And 2025 20, more Amen. breakthroughs will come. Amen. And inshallah, me and you share. The set together most definitely but i thank you thank you very much for spending the time with me here today yes, thank you for brunch too coming for the podcast mm. eating the salad mm. drinking the juice mm. and having great conversation my yeah. brother thank you very much i wish you all the best mr big time my brother most fashionable mm. most talented Stop. most handsome most 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 dancing most singing most ah! <laughs> my brother thank you for thank coming you very on the much, brush, my, my brother. brother thank you ladies and gentlemen boys and girls here in the house chronicles we're always accepting gifts we're always accepting amazing gifts especially food gifts shout out to the amazing the illustrious the fantastic the talented queen messi how do you say the last name again at tang at tang and you see, this is why I need to go to Cross River, bro. <laughs> bro, their women, are, your women are so beautiful, by the way. Yes. Shout yes. out to your women. Yes. But shout out to Queen, my amazing, beautiful sister. She has an amazing bakery shop. We're going to put the description down under this episode. But she brought us a nice velvet ca- red velvet cake. I was like, Queen, I saw the Instagram. I need to get some of this cake. Guys, I usually don't eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? Cake. <laughs> ah! I'm a child of good. Yeah, <laughs> boy, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a big piece. Hey, girl, this is the part <laughs> that exists, right? Are we still talking I'm, about cake? Okay. Yes, I am. You see, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a savage and put this in my hand because, ooh, I need you guys to see the moistness of this. Look at that. I'm going to be like all them food critics. So, pay me, tell me if I'm doing it right. Come, come. Come guys, come guys. See. You do it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Keep it together. That shit is like I'm keeping a buck. That shit is like an orgasm in your mouth. I'm dead ass. That shit is like an orgasm. In your- <laughs> this is so freaking good. Hold on. You gotta get the middle. I got the top of the ice in. It, it, it might, it may lie. This is such good cake, guys. <laughs> we're gonna put the description down below. <laughs> Y'all need to try. Yeah, you better not touch my. <laughs> I saw, I saw what you're trying to do. Better stay close to your diet, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Shout out to Queen for this amazing cake. And we're out. <laughs>